Okay. Everybody ready? Good morning. I'm Sheriff Chad Cronister, and it's certainly a pleasure to welcome everyone to the Hillsborough, Co Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. A special welcome to all our Tampa Bay law enforcement leaders in attendance today. Chairwoman of the County Commission, Sandy Merman, Commissioner Stacy White, Jeff Eakins, our Superintendent of Schools, um, along with our, our favorite Attorney General Pam Bondi, along with Governor Rick Scott and all of his staff. Governor Scott has always made public safety a top priority ever since he was elected into office. Every year since, Florida has celebrated crime reductions. And they are crime reductions because Governor Scott has always been committed, committed and supportive of local law enforcement, providing us with the legislation, the tools, and the resources we need to keep our communities safe. Governor Scott, today we applaud you. We applaud you for not taking a knee-jerk or emotional action in light of the Parkland tragedy, but instead developing a common sense approach to keeping our children, our schools, and our communities safe. Please help me welcome the great governor of the state of Florida, Governor Rick. Chief, thanks for the opportunity to be here. Um, we had the opportunity to come here right after um, Irma. And if you just, if you look at the, uh, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Department, uh, all, if you look at, we have a lot of sheriffs up here, we've got a lot of police chiefs up here, we've got superintendents up here. But if you look at this group of people, they care about you. They care about our citizens, they want everybody to be safe, uh, they want uh, our children to get a great education, and they're going to do everything they can to make sure we continue to grow this economy. So I want to thank everybody for being here. I also want to thank the Attorney General for being here. We got elected together back in, uh, in 2010, and she has been a great partner to try to do everything we can to support local law enforcement. I always think, as I talk to families, they care about things. They want a job, they want their children to get a good education, and they want to be safe. Whether that's whether they're going, when they're going to school or whether they're driving down the street, they want to be safe. They want to be safe in their neighborhoods. 17 lives were lost two weeks ago today. You just can't imagine that happening in this state. I think all of us, when you hear something like this happen, the first thing you think about is your family. I have six grandsons. That day I called and said, unfortunately in your life, you're going to have to teach your children about an active uh, shooter and what they do. You're going to have to teach them that even though they're safe at the house, they're going to have to think about being safe at their school. They should, parents shouldn't worry about whether, should, parents shouldn't have to worry about whether they get up in the morning and send their child to a school, whether they're going to be safe or not. I've had the opportunity to talk to the families that lost their loved ones. And it's heartbreaking for them. I've talked to students that uh, were shot at that school and in the hospital. I've talked to parents and students that go to that, that, that well, parents have children going to that school and children going to that school. They're concerned. They're concerned. We do common sense, make, have common sense solutions. Uh, I ask law enforcement and police chiefs to uh, stand up here to come to Tallahassee. And what are some logical? I ask mental health professionals. I ask educators to come and say, what are the common sense solutions to make sure this never happens again? Many of the individuals standing up here, like me, are working with the legislature. We have to get something done. We have no, there's no alternative. We have to change the direction of the state. The reforms proposed make it virtually impossible for anyone who has mental illness to themselves or others to again. My plan is a $500 million investment. We're also going to focus on increasing collaboration between our local sheriffs, our police chiefs, our schools, the Department of Children and Family, and juvenile justice. We're going to have mandatory law enforcement officers at every public school in the state. All the plans will have to be submitted to the local sheriff's office to make sure for approval 
to make sure we have public safety, and that's not just uh, the, on the officer side, but also on how we're going to make sure these schools are safe from the standpoint of the investments. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. We need more law enforcement presence at our public schools. We're going to make investments in school safety, metal detectors, bulletproof glass, doors, upgraded locks. We're going to have anonymous see something, say something, statewide dedicated hotline, website, and mobile app. We're going to have dedicated mental health professionals uh, for every school, every student will have the access uh, to one of these mental health professionals. I want to embed in every sheriff's office a Department of Children's and Families employee so they can coordinate the activities, whether it's working, um, working with the school system or working with DCF or DJJ. That was an idea that, that uh, came to me through Sheriff Altieri, uh, something that he's already doing. But sheriffs across the state are doing things like that because they know that part of their job uh, is to coordinate whatever problems there are in their community and the individuals that are struggling with either mental illness or dealing with um, harming themselves or others. I want a threat assessment team at every school, including the principal, the teacher, local law enforcement, and a DCF employee and a DJJ employee. The goal is maximum changes in school safety. We, don't, we cannot, we have, we, this, we've got to take this seriously no different than what happened uh, uh, when we, we made sure airports were safe. We've got to do the exact same thing. We've got to think the exact same way with regard to our schools. We've got to provide more mental health resources, and we've got to keep the guns out of the hands of people that are struggling with mental illness or threatening the harm to themselves or others. There's nothing more important than to do all we can to make sure an evil act like this never, ever happens again in this state. I look forward to passing legislation. I ask for everybody in the state to call your local House member, call your senator, Whatever you believe in, let them know. We need to get something done now. Uh, we're in the last week and a half of session. We have the time to do it now. We have the resources. We walked into this budget uh, this year with a, a projected $3 billion uh, anticipated revenues over recurring expenses. And since then, we found out we even have more money uh, as our economy is doing so well. So it's incumbent upon all of us uh, to be active and make sure uh, this never happens again. We all have children, our grandchildren. We have nieces and nephews. We have brothers and sisters. They need to know they're going to go to a safe school and they're going to come home uh, safe. And that's my opportunity to turn this over to the Attorney General. Uh, again, I want to thank her. She's been a great partner uh, to make sure that we focus every year on making this a safer state. As the Sheriff said, we're a 46 year low in our crime rate, um, but we've got to do, and that's, that's a real positive. This never can happen in a school in Florida again. Uh, Attorney General Pam Bondi. Thank you, Governor. <laughs> Governor, thank you. And Sheriff Conister, thank you. From, from the moment it happened, you were there to provide whatever backup anyone needed. And all of these great men and women behind me in law enforcement, we work as a team in Florida, and that's what we do so well. Um, within hours of, of it, I was on the ground with the families who had lost loved ones. Um, offering the services that my office has to offer, helping with expenses, counseling, because we have over 3,400 victims, um, all of the kids in that school. Um, the governor and I were in the hospitals, and governor, I have never seen such a quick reaction from anyone as I did from you. Thank you. And he knew that we only had weeks left in session to make this work, and that's when he brought in all of these experts from all over the state, and he has been going non stop to help these families. I cannot thank you enough. We're doing all the research on the mental health issue to make sure that it's constitutional what we're doing to keep the guns out of hands of people with mental illness um, and to protect our kids. We've been working with, um, I was with General Kaufman this week, Cynthia Kaufman in Colorado. They have an app. They have a statewide app. And Governor Emmett told you this. Listen to this. After the shootings in Parkland, Children reported over 150 instances on the Colorado app. So the numbers went up and some were viable. So that's why this is so important. With social media, parents, you need to tell your kids, if you see something on Snapchat, report it. And I don't care what happened in this instance, from now on, it will be given the attention that it deserves. Um, so we're coming up with, we, I've let the kids name it, 
design the icon and it will be a statewide way they can do it under the condition of anonymity to report throughout the state any instances of someone threatening a child even bullying or suicide with a child to help so we think it's going to make a tremendous difference and I thank my colleagues in Michigan and in Colorado for their help in developing this and governor once again thank you for your leadership um, and this is a man who truly cares about our state and has done th something in record amount of time that we're going to get accomplished thanks to the governor and our legislature. Thank you. Thank you, Attorney General. Well, I, we have to get this done. We're going to have uh, to get this done. We're going to get this done. But I just want to thank everybody that's up here. I can tell you that whether you're talking to the sheriffs, police chiefs, um, the um, superintendents, uh, Everybody is focused on this. Uh, Highway Patrol, everybody's focused on how do we make these schools safe, and we're going to do it. We have the resources to do it. Uh, we are going to get this done. Have a great day. Bye bye. Yeah, don't go away though, I want to grab you now. Okay.